Hey, so I'm in my uh, pantry because my family is, uh, kids are asleep. I don't want to make too much noise. Uh, you have a question here, Gustavo, and thanks for your question. <clears throat> Dealing with image uploads, I can't figure out the usage of IO copy, but when I don't use, just upload a file without any content. So here you have a funk upload file, <clears throat> and that's a route, and that's going to run, right, some route, and response writer, and pointer request, and you're using Julian Schmitz. HTTP router, awesome. And then you, uh, from your request, you're asking for that form file, and this is the name of the file coming over from the form submission, the file upload. And it's gonna give you back a file, a handler, and an error. And so if we go look at that, you know, always gotta go to the documentation, go to the net, HTTP, <clears throat> and, uh, and we have the request, and so we're gonna come down here and look for the request. And so I'll just uh, look at that and uh, type request right here and that's going to be a struct and I think that's where we have form file multi-part form no let's find that whoops that's really big command find form file so off the request it's a method there we have it and the method form file takes in a key which is the name and it gives us back a multi-part file multi-part header and an error. So we got to look at see what a multipart.file is. Multipart.file. So come over here, multipart.file. Let's just see what that gives us. And so here we have a godoc my multipart.file. Reader, reader at, seeker, closer. So reader and a closer. And uh, it's type file, file interface. And so we can come up here and just look to see if that tells us anything more here. We have type file, file interface. I'm just kind of exploring this here a little bit. And a file header. So multi-part file, multi-part file header, pointer to multi-part file header. It has the file name and then the header. And uh, what else do we have here? An error. So multi-part file, multi-part file. <clears throat> It's just a file interface with a reader. And so if something is of this type, it implements all of these methods. It could be read, it could be closed. So that's like the main takeaway that I'm getting from that. I have to do a little bit more digging to have more insight on it. But I just kind of want to dive into this as deep as possible. So form files can give us back multi-part file, file header, and an error. So let's take a look at your code. So it gives us back that multi-part file, uh, Form file gives us back multi-part file, uh, file header, and error. And your code here shows a handler, so that's kind of weird. Form file gives us back that form file gives us back multi-part file, file header, and error. So I'd probably call this uh, instead of handler a header. <laughs> and uh, and then you check that error. And that's cool. I like that error check. And then defer the file close because you can do that. And then uh, you're printing, hey, file uploaded with format printing and a new line and file. And then you're passing in uh, here the file. And so that's getting passed in maybe right there uh, as a string. So you're printing out the file. And then you have handler.file name. And I think it would make more sense if you called that header file name. And then you're printing the file name header out. And then you're opening a file and you're looking on your server to do that in your current directory and you're looking for a file with this name to open. I would change this to create file and uh, it's going to create a file. And now you have a file that's on your server that's been created and then IO copy is going to take the contents of that file. And if we look at IO copy, <laughs> sorry for the bonking around a little bit there at the beginning. But if we look at that, we have a writer and a reader. So the copy takes a writer and a reader, in that order, writer and reader. And, uh, and here, copy takes a writer and a reader. And so we're reading from the file, this file here, which was uploaded, and we're writing to this file, which is the one that was opened. But instead of OS open file, I'd probably do OS create file, unless you just want to have the same file, but you're using a different name every time a file is uploaded. So I'd go OS uh, create file, which is 
right there, OS create. Okay, instead of open file, OS create. And then give you back a pointer to a file. And uh, then you got your file. So somebody uploaded a file, you got it, you opened it, turned out the name. But that's just like uh, a little bit of a takeaway on, uh, on this code for me. Hope that helped.